Frankie is getting no prison time and her case is getting dismissed by the end of this month before Christmas. What is happening and what is going on? Guys, make sure and click the plus sign. I'm going to have more on this you don't want to miss. Sound off in the comments and tell me what you think. But as you know, we have Brian, who was on Law and Crime. He's been covering this extensively over in Utah. Great reporter. And he's actually going into these waiver hearings that are coming up. And the fact is, this could look like this is going to be a dismissal. Take a look at this, and then we're going to discuss. I know. We're all reading the tea leaves, and I'm going to filibuster here as you look for the exact language. This is me filibustering, but I will tell everybody as, as Brian looks it up. So my understanding is uh, Frankie's waiver hearing is requested for December 18th. Hildebrand's hearing requested for December 27th. Again, all before the new year. And uh, Brian, I am curious, as you look up this language, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but in Utah for this waiver hearing, if they waive a preliminary hearing, if they decide to take a plea, could at that hearing the whole case be wrapped up? We, we have, you know, sentencing also here. I was kind of was reading that that these waiver hearings, maybe we may have an answer as to this case. What happens by the end but before 2024? Before I answer, I'm not an attorney. So I did go to a criminal defense attorney yes. to ask that very question. I was told, yes, in theory, if everything falls in line in this waiver hearing where it comes down to, hey, we've decided, we, we've seen everything that you guys have. This is kind of where we want to go forward with. Both sides have come to the agreement. You know how much happens outside of court. And then, of course, yes, sentencing can happen that day, which for now, for Ruby Frankie, if this actually gets scheduled and it goes that way, it could be December 18th. And for Jody Hildebrandt, if it goes that way, it could be December 27th, and things are just done. And I can't imagine that happening in this because of how much has been put out. You mentioned such a, a load of PR against these two. It just, to me, it would baffle me that this doesn't move forward in the process. But then again, it all depends on what they have. Now, is this going to get dismissed? I agree with him. I think the likelihood is not well, but one of two things can be happening. If they want to waive their right to that preliminary hearing, here's what this means. Either they know the prosecution doesn't have enough evidence to actually go forward, therefore there would be a dismissal, or they're ready to do a plea deal, or they're saying, ah, who cares? Let's just go ahead and get to the trial and get it over with. I think it's going to be really interesting what they do. From my perspective, these two women have such what I look like is narcissistic, grandiose, sociopathic tendencies. I can't see them wanting to take a plea deal, at least not both of them. And I don't see this getting dismissed. I don't know. What do you guys think about all this? Tell me your thoughts. Sound off in the comments and click the plus sign. I've got more coming.